everyone welcome again to another pro 100 tutorial video uh, I would like to show you how you can create your own cabinet or closet uh, catalog directly from your vendor your manufacturer or simply from a nice picture from your uh, smartphone so here we have we've launched pro 100 and I want to go uh, to my browser uh, the first thing you want to make sure you have is a good uh, graphic program. If you don't, you can go to getpaint.net and you can download paint.net. Uh, we use it to manipulate images. It's free and I think these guys are doing a phenomenal job. So um, I'm going to open mine. It's already installed so I don't need to install it or download. Uh, and I will minimize it for now. And uh, let's go quickly to pro100usa.com and uh, navigate to optional catalog. I'm looking for door styles. And uh, you can go to your manufacturer's website. Most of them will put the catalog that you need. If they don't, there's many ways you can do so. Uh, this guy's here, Wolf home products they're well known out there and uh, they really do have some nice cabinet uh, kitchen cabinet door styles um, and here we are so I'm going to just pick any of these uh, as an example I don't know which color you like um, I'll go with this one here so I'm just gonna double click and you're going to right click and copy the uh, the image, all of it. And then go to your paint.net. And you want a new file. Click OK. Control V to paste. Now I need to separate the door from the drawer front and also get the wood material. So the first thing I want to do is go to the rectangle, select and I want this door right here make sure you're not having those white border I want it clean control C to copy get a new one the paste just leave it like that for now then I'm gonna do the same with the drawer front Control C. There you go. Then I will take the wood material, which is just that. Control C, copy and paste. So now I need to. You don't want the images to be so huge because then your Pro 100 will start becoming huge. So I'm going to resize this image. Resize. And uh, well, it looks like it's just about right, but I like it to go down probably 350. Okay, and this one too, 350, and this one as well, 350. Just the width. All right. So now I'm gonna save as. You always wanna save as. That way you will have the option to choose the location uh, I would like to take them straight to my Pro 100 root directory I'm using Pro 100 so catalog textures and I will create a new folder in here called uh, tutorial tutorial door style Right, and this is where I'm gonna save all my stuff. Uh, make sure you change the file extension. You don't want to deal with PNG. Always JPEG. Remember that. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is the door, and I will save it here under tutorial door styles. Click OK, and then go to the drawer front. Save as change file extension 
see Windows already knows remember where you saved your file your previous file so it will take you right there so I'm gonna say that uh, drawer front and you save that as well <coughs> then you move to the wood material save us change to file extend extension and that's wood and that's all you need all right so let's close this out close everything and go to pro 100 and let's have some fun let's bring it out it'll bring out some uh, um, cabinets maybe American frame let's take some uh, base cabinet corner I'm gonna go to the plan view can go faster then I'm gonna move to maybe another base this is just for the sake of tutorial so it's not going to be perfect not sure I grab that but uh, okay all right so this is okay for now for the sake of tutorial so let's go to our texture and remember we named it tutorial something tutorial door styles so I'm gonna type in T to move closer to it just keep tapping on the T tutorial door styles there you go and here they are they look really nice so first thing you want to do is hold down your, your shift and you change the wood material and then you go to the doors then you go to the drawers and there you go so that's how you do it it looks really really nice make some good fun here with the draw box make it look nice and so that's how you use paint.net <coughs> and you can use it to create your own catalog so now you can just uh, you have it here you have everything you need so you can create the next one and you use the same technique just the way I started here and you can move to uh, let me show you some of the stuff that I have Go to textures, those styles. I think I have a whole bunch of them here. And this is some of the stuff. Same thing. Wood material. The door. Drawer. There you go. So you just keep playing around with all this. and it doesn't matter how many you have you just keep it going all right if you have any questions pro100usa.com thank you